Hello and welcome to St. John's College for day two of this Central South Africa qualifier for the All-Africa Games 2023. Yesterday two, saw two games, men and women. Today we start with the men's Zambia versus Zimbabwe. So the national anthems of Zimbabwe and Zambia as we prepare for the start of this game, joined in commentary by none other than Rhett McDonald. Rhett, are you happy with the uh, action yesterday? We expect a big one today. Afternoon, Dirk. Uh, yes, yeah, I think uh, it was a bit of a baptism of fire for the, the, the two Malawi sides, but we did see some fast-paced and exciting hockey, some fantastic goal scoring, which is what the crowds always want to see. Um, and today we start off the, the second day with a bit of a grudge match here. As we mentioned yesterday, we had a, a series against Zambia earlier in the year, a uh, five-match series, um, both teams winning two games and the decider uh, ending in a, in a draw. Um, so there, there's a lot to play for these two teams. The Zambian side, just taking a team photograph. Those of you that don't know, you uh, write off Zambia at your peril. They're a pretty decent side. In case you missed it yesterday, Rhett was giving us some insight into uh, their relationship with Dutch hockey. Lots of coaches and uh, a, a share sort of agreement where the Zambians go over to Holland. And the Zimbabweans, they'll be wary of Zambia. Like you said, the last time Zambia came here, it was not easy going for Zimbabwe. The uh, whole thing sort of ended up all square, I think, in games and in goals at the end of the day. I think uh, Zimbabwe might have just pipped Zambia in terms of goals. The first game, they, they got a bit of a runaway win in the very first game, uh, while Zambia was still finding their feet. I think that, that game was a 6-1 uh, win for Zimbabwe. Um, but uh, the, the, the next few games, it was, it was very even. I think it went, uh, <coughs> went to uh, the 
five goals aside in the next two games, next three games, um, and then the final one obviously ending two all. So your temperatures for today, 20 degrees. Uh, yesterday there was a little bit of cloud cover, which cooled it down. A little bit of a breeze blowing, so if there is any hot sun out there today, that will be uh, calmed down by that wind. we are all set here at the St. John's Astro in Arari for what would be Zimbabwe's match two, Zambia's first look. What's more important, because there's an outside chance, and I'm going to call it, that this is going to be the final match, Zimbabwe versus Zambia, and Malawi's going to fall away. How important is this game before that final on who wins this? Uh, I think it's a matter of personal opinion, hey Dirk. Uh, I've, I've always liked to be the underdog going into an important match such as the final coming up this weekend. Um, this one I think is a bit more bragging rights as we say. We, we're not completely writing off um, Malawi, but uh, it, is, uh, it would be a very outside chance for them to, to beat Zambia in their, in their upcoming fixture. So this is uh, probably going to be a highlight reel for the final. Um, as we look... To, waiting for the umpires to get the game started here. Uh, we have Zambia on the left in the green and black, uh, playing from left to right across your screens, and we have Zimbabwe in uh, the black and red, uh, playing from right to left. So reminder, 15-minute chuckers as per internationals with a two-minute break between chuckers and a 10-minute half-time. Zambia, get us underway. Aerial thrown straight away, straight into the D for uh, Zambia. They Goal! They have scored within the first 10 seconds of the game. And instantly Zimbabwe are on the back foot. That is not how they wanted to start this game. And uh, I, I think that might be a record, Dirk. Uh, I've seen uh, maybe a five or six second goal scored at the beginning of a match, but uh, that, that'll be close on one of them. There's the replay. I hadn't even cleared my throat yet. The, uh, not only did the goalkeeper miss it, but the defender was right there. Went right past his stick. Uh, I'm going to call that as 25 seconds, Zambia take the lead here in uh, this encounter. We spoke about how big it is. It spoke about how important it is to switch on straight away. And uh, I think I'm going to call it Zimbabwe just caught napping. Very much so, very much so. It's not the way you want to start a game. Uh, <laughs> I think that's every sort of coach's and team's nightmare to be put on the back foot that quickly. Uh, we do have an hour of hockey left with that goal being scored so early. Um, but uh, I think uh, a bit of adrenaline is going to be pumping through both teams' veins in the moment. But Zambia very much with their tails up. Ball loping out the back there for what I believe will be the first long corner of the match for Zimbabwe. Pass up to the right. I believe that is <coughs> Tatenda Kanyangarara trying to use his skill to get that ball into the D. His brother Mutsa taking a run, getting the ball in, looking for a short corner. Finding another long corner just in front of the D there. Yeah, so I have no doubt that the call's going to be nice and calm, gents. Now back into the D, but stolen by Zambia. And a breakaway here for them. They got some numbers up front and look like they got some pace as well. That pass just a little bit too far. And Zimbabwe will have a 16-yard hit out. We were talking about the brand of hockey uh, yesterday, Dirk. And Zambia's brand of hockey is very similar to the way Zimbabwe were playing yesterday. They like putting the pressure on the teams that they're playing against. They like going for those 50-50 balls. As we see another circle entry, wide open player. Zimbabwe's defense up to the task there that time, managing to stop the ball before it got to the player on the P-spot. But uh, just a hint of panic there from Zimbabwe. You can see their defenders... Uh, for the first time we've seen in this tournament, just trying to bash the ball through Zambia's press as, a, as opposed to trying to use the width like they were yesterday against Malawi. Good overhead cross there. Uh, not controlled well. Zambia with the ball in the midfield again. Good cross. Good use of the width. Getting the ball across there to Jackson and Carter, who's turned over possession back to Zimbabwe. Uh, straight pass there going on the right. Harsh whistle there by umpire Shrives. Uh, having a go at both uh, Zim and Zambian players who are, seem to be uh, getting heated as the game starts off. You know one thing I've noticed about Zimbabwe, and, and I think that their stick control and, and their, uh, is good, but the aerial ball, any ball that's been bouncing, Zimbabwe's really struggled with that, and, and I don't get that. It's interesting, uh, having mentioned that we 
are a uh, country that don't have as many turfs as, uh, well, we certainly do now have more turfs than Zambia, but we, a lot of these guys grew up playing hockey on uh, grass. So uh, naturally or organically, you would think their 3D hockey and the ball being in the air would be a bit easier for them to control. Uh, but you're right, Dirk, we spoke about this yesterday. Their first touch, particularly when the ball is bouncing or it's coming from an aerial, uh, it's, it's been hard for them to control it straight off the bat. They're just trying to take control of this game. Definitely not the pace they started with yesterday, but I have no doubt, as you'd expect, a little bit shell-shocked after 20 seconds uh, and finding themselves 1-0 down. I think it's... Uh showing of what uh, Zambia can do if you give them those sorts of chances. I, I don't think uh, Ma the game between Malawi and Zimbabwe yesterday was short of those chances for Malawi. They just perhaps didn't have those shock players to take advantage of them so, so readily. There's been a green card given here by umpire Shrives. I'm not sure who's being sent off. Uh, that was missed just outside of our camera angle there. It's one of the Zambian players who's coming off there. Um, I believe there was a, a bit of a late or a rough tackle on the near side as, you, as the ball was moving its way up towards the D, so he'll be sitting for two minutes. So a chance now for Zambia to clear their back with uh, Zimbabwe unable to maintain that pressure, just losing the ball. Zambia seem to be very happy to play this game at their pace as well, something Malawi didn't do yesterday. What we saw in the, the series um, when they came last time is they're, they're very composed at the back. They don't mind taking their time getting the ball through their backs into their midfields, but as soon as they get into that attacking quarter, it is all, uh, all guns blazing. They, they, they ramp up to as much pace as they possibly can and try to rush the opposition. Uh, and if you don't have a... Um, defence that can uh, take that pressure, uh, it, can, it can start show the, showing the cracks of where they can get in. Mashoko with the ball to Mugori on the side, looking for one of those massive overheads we've seen him throw. He's found McLeod, who's had a great touch into the D. He's looking to try to get that in. That looks like quite a poor tackle. Uh, you can't do that just outside the D. McLeod's managed to manufacture uh, a short corner for Zimbabwe and they'll be looking to try equalize after that disastrous start. Well, we know how quick he is, McLeod. And on that occasion, just getting away from the defender, forcing him to do something and McLeod winning that short corner. So a first look at both teams from a short corner perspective. And can Zimbabwe level the score here? Gift Chamonora with the injection. And it seems you've got Tatenda Kanyangarara at the top of the first castle. Good trap. Flick comes in. Well defended by Zambia. It's popped off one of the sticks and gone over the back for a long corner. Mugori, who helped manufacture that short corner with that pinpoint overhead that he threw from the back. Uh, looking for the ball, oh, he's got it again, trying to show a decent bit of skill, he's kicked it unfortunately. And here we see Zambia's counter-attack. Uh, Zimbabwe seem to be up to the task at the moment. And as we mentioned earlier, Zambia happy to slowly work it from the back. Uh, Chamonoro with the ball, open shot on goal here. Yeah. To tender Kanyangarara. Cool as you like, turns onto his back stick and puts that past Jeff Peary, the goalkeeper. And uh, Zimbabwe on even terms. I was worried that Kanyangarare had taken too long there. He had lots of time on the ball. And just watch the pass, it's early. He's taken one, one touch, but wanted to make sure he was in the perfect position. And the goalkeeper maybe just caught off his lines. And we're all square here at one apiece at St. John's College. Zimbabwe back on even terms now. Uh, bench seems to have gotten very animated in the meantime. Mugori with the ball on the near side. He's made a decent tackle there. Unfortunately, the ball's gone out on the right. We've got Jackson Nato with the ball. He's passed it on to Floyd Chumba. Sorry, my apologies. That's uh, Dominic Malenga who's got the ball there. Mushoko looking aerial. 
has he got that where he needs it? It's gone to the Zambian player who's not been able to stop that. It's popped out the back for another long corner. Alec Chaminora taking it quickly. Looking for a bit of support. He's all by himself there. Three Zambians converging on him. And managing to steal the ball. Back pass from Zimbabwe as they look to recycle. Mashoko finding Mufanda Edza on the right hand side. Looks for an ambitious pass into the middle. He's found to Tender Kinyangarara who can't stop it on that first touch, unfortunately. Tendai Marezza with his first touch of the game. Alec Chamonorwa, top of the D. Zimbabwe losing it, unfortunately, and trying to recycle it. Leading pass there from Zambia, a bit too ambitious, and uh, Zimbabwe start from the back again. As we see number 16, George Jerry, sub on for the first time in the game on the Zambian side. Another overhead thrown. Ball controlled by Zambia centre back. Ooh, a good bit of 3D skill there by Zambia's midfielder. Mashoko managing to win the ball. Cool and calmly get it out to Alec Chamonora. Back pass to Tendai Maredza goes astray. Through ball. He saw from Mufanda Edza has an infringement there. Circle entry looking for the back stick shot. It's a great tackle there by Mufanda Edza. Hands up by all the Zimbabweans looking for an infringement, but the umpire says play on. Frantic stuff here from Zimbabwe. The whole team is back in defense, not wanting to let another goal go. Mutsu Kanyangarara in a foot race here with Gift Bwalia. I think Bwalia has won and cool as you like has switched it across the field. And Zambia are on the attack again. That uh, form of defense seeming to work for Zimbabwe, but it's a question of uh, how long can they keep that going with the whole team running back and forth. It's almost like doing shuttles and fitness. Big whistle there in Zimbabwe's favor. Well won by Mashaya Karara, it looks like there. It looks like the game's also just picked up another level in pace. Both teams guilty of just losing the ball. And Zambia back in the D. Has a chance. An amazing dive and putting his body on the line across wow. the goal there from uh, Mashoko. Uh, I don't know if he ma actually managed to get a, a stick on that and save that from going out or if the Zambian just skewed that out wide. Easy ball. The Zambians will be bleak about that ball going straight to Tendai Maredza there with no pressure on him. Down the line from Mugori. Kanyangarara looking into the D, gets a circle entry. Zambians easy, easily getting that out there. Good tackle. Zimbabwe on the counter. Ball going out wide from Gift Chamunora. Well kept in by Mfandeza. My apologies, that was Gerald and Telezi there. Luckily onto the foot there from Mugori. He's missed that overhead. He's under pressure and manages to clean up his uh, earlier laps in concentration there. Chamanora looking for the long ball in. He's managed to get it in. Is there anybody there? KK Karuma putting some pressure on their center back. Good tackle. Gerald and Telezi on the right hand side. Zambia's ball on the far side. Looking for a recycle and trying to get the ball around. Zimbabwe, their press not giving them the option. Uh, and the ball spewing out off the side of uh, Gerald and Selezi's stick. So two minutes left in this first quarter between Zambia and Zimbabwe. One apiece, a pass is poor from Zambia. Now a chance for Zimbabwe to counter. Vincent Team Matrona with his first touch at left mid there. It's a, good, it's a brilliant one touch hockey there from Zimbabwe. Uh, gives him the opportunity on the right hand side. Mistrap, mistrap from KK Karuma. 
but good movement of the ball there from Zimbabwe. If they keep using that width uh, when they're not under pressure, they seem to be, uh, they look like a much better side. Loud whistle blow blown there from umpire Shrives, telling Zambia to take the ball back where the infringement happened. Bit of pressure for Zimbabwe as we get into the final minute of this first quarter. Zambia looking for an opening in Zimbabwe. Seem content just to let them run the ball around the back with their half-court press, putting pressure on the Zambians, trying to take long balls like that. A foot just outside the D. Number 16, George Jerry takes it. He has a decent amount of skill, does George, as we saw in the last. Uh, that goes in. Well stopped there by Gerald Intelezi. Bounced out the back for a long corner. Kumwenda. It's a bit of a harsh bouncing ball put in from uh, their number 10 there, Tagure. Sam being one of their senior players here for Zambia. Fonde uh, clears that ball nice and long. Uh, Zambia number five, Simon Banda putting that out as we wind down to the end of this, the first quarter. Zimbabwe pulling Zambia all the way back into their defensive quarter, putting themselves under a bit of pressure here, you might say. Gerald Intelezi losing the ball. Zambia with the ball in Zimbabwe's half again. It's well-watched tackle there by Muta Kanyangarara. As we hear the buzzer go for the end of the, the first quarter, and... Uh, a very high intensity quarter there, Dirk. I think, uh, I don't know how you feel. That seemed to go a lot quicker than some of the games we, we watched yesterday. Yeah, it did. Uh, I, I'm going to say as well that both goals may be a bit soft from both teams. Uh, Zimbabwe caught napping in the second one. Zambia defense nowhere to be seen. Uh, sort of everything else in between has sort of gone long fine. I'm still not convinced that Zimbabwe have the same intensity they had in that first game. I think they're still a little bit off. But uh, no doubt this break will do them the world of good and allow Niall Milner to have a little chat as the coach. Very much so. I think he's going to try to get them fired up as much as possible. Um, get them back to, as, you, as we said yesterday, playing their brand of hockey. Uh, and I think it'll help a lot that they're not chasing their tails. But uh, yeah, definitely not the best we've seen from either of these sides yes, just yet. So we're all set here for the second quarter. It's one apiece between Zimbabwe and Zambia. If you've missed the action, you uh, would have had to watch the first 20 seconds to see Zambia go 1-0 up. Then Zimbabwe, well-worked field goal to go level. And uh, we start the second quarter one apiece. I think 20 seconds is quite generous there, Dirk. I think it was probably the first uh, seven or six seconds. But uh, back on even footing now, and uh, let's see what these two teams can produce. Zimbabwe we going for those 50-50 balls a little bit more intently as this quarter starts already. There's been good pressure shown defensively by both sides so far. Shutting down the ball, making sure that uh, if there's a player taking too long to make their passes or make any decisions, there's uh, two or three of the opposition team already there, hassling them, keeping their head down, making it very tough for them to get the ball. Zambia going for the long ball there unsuccessfully. Zimbabwe getting it on the far side. 
KK Karuma. Pass infield. Zazman Porfu, who's found. Backstick shot coming in. Not quite connecting it there. I think that's um, Shia Carraro who took that shot there. Indeed it is. Good free-flowing hockey there for Zimbabwe to get them their first opportunity in this quarter. Ball pushed out wide. Good bit of skill it's going to take to get this back into the D. Zambia stealing the ball and managing to get that out, out wide. Granny Mochono with the ball on the left-hand side. Flicking the ball just over. Mushai Karara managing to control it, push it across the goal. And a long corner being awarded coming off one of the Zambian sticks. So good pressure from Zimbabwe. They just need to be calm and patient. And it looks like the call's changed to a hit out for Zambia. A chance now for them to release that pressure down the line from uh, Zambia and the pass is poor. So Zimbabwe have an opportunity again to put pressure back on the Zambians. This uh, brand of passing hockey that they get together sometimes, Dirk, uh, seems to be uh, give them a lot more open opportunities, if that makes sense. Lots of pressure there from Andrew Moyo. He's stolen the ball. He's passed it out wide uh, to Joseph Mubanga, who's looking for the ball in. Mufanda heads up to the task, managing to get that cool and calmly out to Tendai Mareza, who's uh, slowing the ball down, allowing his team to try and get back into the game. He's managed to get it to Shmashaya Carraro, who's taken it all the way up the left-hand side and missed that backstick shot again to try to cross it into the D. Zambia working it back up the side. Mubanga again crossing it and making the run up front. I believe that's Forbes Tindwe who's made that tackle and then a long pass, unforced error there, getting the ball to Bilikan Kumwenda. <clears throat> Umpire Shrives trying to identify a player who he saw make an infringement earlier. Um, green card, number 10 green, that'll be Sam Togurei for uh, an infringement he made earlier. Um, for those who are unfamiliar, Dirk, the umpires like to let the game carry on playing and they'll bring it back and give the card later. Um, they don't stop, stop the play as soon as they see the infringement happen. Just outside the 23 here, which means he can go direct, but he's chosen to pass it back. Ball's gone wide to Jerry. Good bit of skill. Missed pass that goes in. Oh, unmarked player on P-spot there was Andrew Moyo, who got the steal earlier and... Uh, Zimbabwe lucky to get away with that. I think Zambia will be bleak that they had such a decent opening and uh, he had a bit more time than I think he thought. Lots of pressure from Zambia again on the Zimbabwe defence. Constantine Muchono having no choice but to bang that down the line. I think that's gone out, gone out wide. Zambia's ball on the near side. Samson Timber at the back, they're getting the switch in. We have number 16, Jere running with the ball again. Bit of theatrics from that tackle there, he's taken it quickly. Ball's gone wide and in. Pressure from the Zambian players. Zimbabwe taking their time to get this out. Some might say putting themselves under a bit more pressure than just looking for the clearance as we start. Forbes Tindwe looking for a pass. Seems to be a bit stranded there. He's managed to get it down the line, but to one of the Zambians yet again. Good steal from Asman Porfo and a bit of an ambitious leading run from Mashaya Karara. He's hit it a bit too far in front of him. That Zimbabwean press. Seeming to be a bit slow to get up there and stop the Zambians from making that uh, quick switch on the width. Three Zimbabwe's. There we go. That crowding seems to be working. Ball goes to Mishai Karari. He's making the circle entry. He's been tackled. Trying to get that back onto his four stick. The, the back stick not working for him so far in this match. That's a good bit of uh, switching there in the midfield by Zambia. 
Philemon Boily with the ball. He's taking on Constantine Mutrono. Uh, and he's won. He's making a, a good pacey run here. This is a good opening here for Zambia. Last pass, not going to the stick. Misa Mufande Edza managing to get that out on the side, but uh, the danger not over yet from Zambia. I've just seen that the Zambian team may be guilty of just holding onto the ball too long. A couple of times that the Zimbabweans have tackled them. They try and get that ball away a little bit quicker. It's, it's definitely something that both teams could work on, uh, Dirk. They, when they make those one-touch passes or those, those minimal touch passes, so one pass, touch pass, they're getting much better opportunities in the D, so they, they might be getting more D entries uh, by holding onto the ball a little long, but they're not quality D entries. There's, there's a lot of defenders there. It's giving the, the other opposition team a lot of time to get back. Um, but when they make those quick one-two passes, um, they're getting much better quality of opportunity when they eventually get that ball into the D. Zambia also looking for the big river ball, trying to find the gap in the D on a couple of occasions. They've got it through. We saw one clear miss. Great opportunity for them. But uh, as opposed to Zimbabwe, happy to take it up, try and uh, attack from the top of that D. Zambia looking for the long ball more often. Ooh, that yeah. was a clinical tackle there um, because the Right defender, Forbes Tindra had gone all the way up into that right corner and there would have been no Zimbabwean player back. Unfortunate miss pass there. Zimbabweans chasing their tail. Andrew Moyer with the ball again. That's gone back. Zimbabwe still in possession. It's a big corner run here. Good bit of skill to get past the first player, but uh, no one seemingly there to help him. Uh, that's KK Karuma in the corner. It's uh, him and only him and Zambia managing to steal that away. As man Pofu looking to recycle and maybe get the ball to the other side of the field. It's uh, another long pass. It's been foiled from Forbes Tindwe. Uh Fortunate there to have Zambia, one of the Zambian passes going wide. Um, but uh, I don't think he can afford to make a habit of that for Sindra. He needs to start getting those passes to Zimbabwean sticks. So six and a half odd minutes left of this second quarter. We still one apiece. Those two goals coming in the first quarter. And Zambia probably having the best chance so far of uh, extending their lead. Good pressure and tackle by Alistair McLeod there. He's given Zimbabwe a good run uh, at the goal here. Brian Musimwa, Alistair McLeod getting a good touch on it. And uh, he's got that onto the keeper who seems to have made a good save. The Zimbabwean bench are up in arms. Perhaps they've seen something we haven't, Dirk, but uh, that seemed to be a, a brilliant save by Jeff Perry there. Uh, a brilliant run to start it off by Alistair McLeod, who actually made the tackle in the midfield that allowed for that run, uh, the ball to get out wide and him to run onto the P-spot, but the keeper just getting in the way there and making a decent save as he ran on. Constantine Mutrono making a pass in. There's another circle entry here by Mushaya Karara. Doesn't hold on to it. He's looking for McLeod on the baseline, but can't get it to him. Zambia getting the ball out wide and easily managing to get that out. Zimbabwe steal it on the halfway line. Recycled back to Mufande Edza who's made a poor decision there. There's three on two here. This could be an easy one. It's Bradley here and that is a penalty flick awarded given to Mashoko. That's an intentional foul in the D and there was would have been a definite shot on goal. So uh, that is a, a penalty flick and we could be, and that's a five minute yellow card for Mashoko who's got, had to come sit uh, in the sin bin here. Again, horrible mistake from Zimbabwe, putting themselves under pressure. Not that you ever say it's okay to do something like that, but they had no option really, Zimbabwe. Uh, this is the question where uh, you, you ask yourself, is it, um, 
would it would it have been better to let uh, Brad here try and deal with that and maybe let the goal in as opposed to have the next five minutes a player down against the side who we've seen to be as dangerous as Zambia? That's gone straight down to the left. Floyd Chumba has pushed that flat and down. Brad here just a bit slow to get down there. Uh, I think that's where he intended on going, but Floyd Chumba was just too quick. Apologies, that is... Uh, did he save it? That's uh, on my screen here. Yeah, that looked like it bounced off the back of the goal. So uh, Brad here making a fantastic save there. Apologies to Brad when he watches this later. He's going to have a go at me. Zimbabwe up the other end of the field, uh, putting pressure on Zamb Zambia despite being a man down. Experience showing through from Brad here there. We've got a replay here. Oh, he's managed to get that just on his foot. Well done. Zendai Marids are making the steal on the near side. I'm seeing a lot of these uh, weighted passes, Dirk, which uh, I don't think I'm a fan of at the moment. It's when that ball is passed hard and onto the four stick, it seems to work better for both teams. As we see the overhead stopped uh, at the back there by Samson Timbo. He's been uh, very good under pressure at the back there for Zambia so far in this game. Floyd Trombo looking for the long pass. I think that's just a bit too easy for Zimbabwe to let that ball get in there. Pressure on the Zambians. They'll be annoyed with themselves there because uh, I think they had a, a, a decent opportunity to have a run into the D there. Ball going back to Mugore. Looking for the big shot across. Uh, and that'll be Zambian's ball on the far side. Kipwali are taking it. Again, another weighted pass, and it just seems to give the Zimbabweans a little bit of extra time to get into the defensive position that they need be. Uh, th that first quarter, the passes seemed to be a lot harder. Uh, they were onto the four sticks, and um, these slow passes are just putting players unnecessarily under pressure, in my opinion. They've managed to break that through there. Tatenda Kanyangarara. Dropping that back. Can they turn this into an attacking opportunity on the right-hand side of the field there? That's opened up. McLeod dropping it back. Zambia getting the ball in that top corner. Good bit of skill. Getting that ball out there. And Zambia on the counter-attack now. Sapanzi on the right-hand side finding. So he's making a good run into the D there. Can he manage to keep it? That's Adam, Andy Moyo using his skill. Kennedy Swale using his skill to get that circle entry. Ooh, that's a good, good bit of work through his legs there. Unfortunately, no one from the Zambian side to pick that up there from Philip and Wally. Zimbabwe still under pressure here. Oh, that is... A good bit of one-touch defense and a shot. Uh, Brad here clearing that again, getting his team out of a bit of a trouble, but not all over just yet as the long corner is awarded for Zambia. Well, Zimbabwe under pressure here, allowing Zambia to run at them and just giving them too much space. Remember, they're still a man down, so that doesn't help. One short on defense, and that's poor. That's that should a be a card. There. Yeah, the ref's given it. So Excellent. yellow card now for Zamb Z uh, Zambia, both with a player off. That will be five minutes for Zambia on the Naughty Boy chair, just as Zimbabwe almost have their full complement back. One of those massive overheads from uh, Mugori, and he's thrown it so big, actually, it's gone out the back before McLeod could get anything on it. I think... Uh, that's a, a very poor bit of judgment from Philemon Bwali, who got the yellow card there. He is one of the senior players here for Zambia. He was in at the tour previously, and they would have wanted to take advantage of that. They had the momentum. They were putting Zimbabwe under constant pressure, uh, and he's just leveled the playing field again. There's that example of holding onto the ball a little bit too long, Zambia. Lifted, says the ref. So Zimbabwe ball. Almost time up in the second quarter. Not too many opportunities to speak of for Zimbabwe in this quarter. Um, again, as we say, holding on to the ball, I think both teams guilty of that fact. Um, Zambia managing to have a few more opportunities, possibly being uh, a man up. 
Um, pressure here from Zimbabwe on the near side. For Ryan Musimwa. It's a good tackle there by Kip Chamanora getting the award. As the buzzer goes for the end of the first half, um, and uh, Zambia having probably the best opportunity in this half, uh, in that quarter, with uh, the, the penalty penalty stroke being awarded, but uh, the brilliance and experience of Bradley Hura allowing uh, Zimbabwe to get away with the lucky scot-free uh, goalless quarter. Well, it was a penalty flick for Zambia that they missed. It was also a great opportunity for a field goal unmarked, unable to do the one touch. And the only real opportunity for Zimbabwe was McLeod. He had a little bit of work to do, couldn't get the shot away. So as we go into the half, it's Zambia 1, Zimbabwe 1.
Welcome back to the St. John's AstroTurf here in Harare for this men's pool game in the Central South Africa qualifier for the All Africa Games 2023, which will be hosted in Ghana. It is Zambia up against Zimbabwe, and we are 1 1 at half time. Zambia have a yellow card. They'll have about three minutes left on that yellow card. Zimbabwe's just come back to full complement after their yellow card. And uh, a sort of more sedate second quarter. And the first one saw the first two goals. So that Zambia in the first couple of seconds went 1-0 ahead. Zimbabwe then a great field goal. And uh, the second quarter, not much apart from the penalty flick missed by Zambia. So they could be sitting with the lead here, the Zambians, as we enter the third quarter. Zimbabwe starting with the ball in this half, and uh, we'll see if they, they try to go as big as Zambia did um, in, in the, as the game kicked off. Right. Out wide, Zentilezi. Looking for a risky pass in there, luckily getting it to Chamunora, who's got a good run in. He's tapped it through. Overhead, Mushaya Karara with uh, two Zambians on him. Manages to get the call for the infringement in that right corner there. Zentilezi back for the recycle. Managed to get that across to Maredza. Unfortunately, uh, inaccurate pass there, giving Zambia the ball on their 16. Seems to be a bit more energy from Zimbabwe. I think uh, the, the word at halftime probably would have been that Zambia got the better of them in that, those first two quarters. As we said, Dirk, they should probably be ahead at the moment. Uh, and Zimbabwe will be out the blocks wanting to try and fix that. Bit of pressure there, but Zambia managing to get the ball back. That's uh, Andy Moyo with the ball. Uh, just to pass it off to, I believe that's uh, Kennedy Swale. Looking for somebody to drop that ball back to and recycle. <laughs> Interception there, but Zambia still managing to pick the ball back up. Good bit of skill, allowing Zambia to keep the ball. Missing that pass in, was looking for a circle entry, I believe. Give Kwali up, the captain. That coming off the foot, but there is a circle entry, and that has just bobbled out the back for a 16-yard uh, hit out. I just heard uh, coming from the Zimbabwe bench, the coach Nal Milner just calling to his players too long on the ball, and I think that he's wanting a bit more pace here on the ball from Zimbabwe, which we haven't seen a lot of in the game. And we've been talking all the time about this, both teams holding onto the ball a little bit too long. Very much so, Dirk. There. And as we see there, the first one-touch pass of the game, and there was an opportunity for uh, one of the Zim players to run on the baseline, uh, un unhindered by any of the Zambian defense. Um, a big overhead thrown by the captain into the midfield, uh, and this could work out for Zambia here. Ooh, a good touch. And uh, forward movement. Zambia looking to make a circle entry. Um, Zimbabwe back in defense. Will they be able to stop this getting in? Far across to the other side, unmarked. I believe that's Moyo trying to get that in, looking for a short corner. Uh, and uh, Mutsa Kanyangarara up to the task, managing to get that out safely for Zimbabwe. Zambia trying to crack this ball in and get ahead in the game. Good bit of skill to get away from the first opportunity there, but Mutsa Kanyangarara losing it at the end. Sam Togurei to the captain, Poilia. Katele, back into the midfield to his captain. Two Zimbabweans trying to make the tackle there. That's a long ball through, and Zimbabwe managing to get that ball back, only to hit it out on the side. Telezi putting the pressure on there. And, uh, ball being put onto the foot of one of the Zambians as we see another massive overhead thrown I believe by Mugori and that ball not going in the favor of Zimbabwe Zambia getting the ball in the midfield 
Passing out wide to no one. I think Zambia thought somebody should be there. As we see the yellow card coming back on, he's instantly made a terrible tackle as he's run back onto the field. Um, there could be a problem here for number seven, Philman Bali. He's taken two steps onto the field and made a very harsh tackle. The umpire having a word. Here we have the replay's foot coming up and getting Gerald into Lezzi afterwards as well. Uh, Gerald seeming to be all right. We like to see that. We like to see him on his feet afterwards and not having to leave the field. Umpire Shrives having a word. As uh, play will be restarted. Both players touching sticks and then trying to get the ball. While he's showing the skill that he has to get that, try to get that back into the D. Umpire Shrives giving that back to Zambia just outside the D. Circle entry from Zambia. Good tackle by Intelezi. Short corner, unfortunately. So the first one we've seen in this half. And what can Zambia make of this? Well, not only the first one we've seen in this half. I think it's the first penalty corner for Zambia in the whole game. I don't remember any other. This is only the second penalty corner. Zimbabwe's had one, and this is the first one for Zambia. We do know they have uh, two very quick drag flickers, not unlike the Zimbabwean team, uh, but uh, we'll see what they come up with. It looks like Floyd Chumba is standing at the top of the first castle. I must admit I haven't seen him flick uh, in my experience yet. Gray with the injection. Good trap. No, nope, trap. Miss trap. Philemon Bali with the ball. Another short corner. Wanashi Mashoko putting his body on the line there to stop that ball from entering the, the circle, but unfortunately getting a foot just inside the D. Zambians having a bit more of a chat before they uh, have their retake of this short corner. I'm sure they'd very dearly like to go ahead here after missing that uh, penalty stroke in the first half. Good pace from the injection. Shot comes in. That's been lifted, I think, so it's been given to Zimbabwe for a 16-yard hit out. Uh, and that's gone out on the sideline. Samuel Tagare showing his skill. Again, as you say, Dirk, possibly holding onto the ball too long. Yes, he's won the infringement, but at the, the detriment of them having space in the D. Ball passed out wide to Catelli, who's looking for that long ball in. Zimbabwe showing they're up to the task for those long balls at the moment. Uh, and Zim Zambia most probably going to have to change their tactics if they want to get uh, a better quality of ball in the D. Ball in the 23, missed trap. Zimbabwe on the counter. Go, Kapi, go! 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 Kays Kanyangarara tries to throw an overhead there. His brother managing to pick it up. Gift Chamanoro with the ball. It's been given not to him. Empire Shrives making that very clear. Uh, not a great overhead thrown. Case Kanyangarara trying to wrong foot the, the player there. Great skill by Philemon Wally to get round the first defender. Just outside the 23. They can go straight in. And he's done that. That was a good run, but unfortunately just too far in front of the player running from the right-hand side there. That could have been a very dangerous circle entry from Zambia. Zimbabwe on the far, far side under a bit of pressure. It's been a good press by Zambia. Ball gets cracked through. Picked up by Gerald and Telezi. Let's go over it early. Good touch out wide. It's a bouncing ball, making it tough to control first up. Need better quality of ball and quicker ball, does Zimbabwe. Ball going into the middle for Andrew Moyo. 
captain at the back, Kif Bualia, passing it out wide to Katele, who's looked to get that forward to film and Bualia. It's been well tackled by Tendai Maredza. Bit of frustration showed by Film and Bwali. That overhead been thrown. Zambia up to the task, making sure they're in that space nice and early. Ball passed out wide. Looking for that long ball. Missed trap. That's gone out the back for a 16. So about six minutes left in this, ga in this uh, quarter. No uh, real opportunities yet for either team. Maybe territory Zambia leading in this quarter. A good opportunity here for Zambia running in on the baseline. It's gone across the goal to an unmarked Zambian, but he's uh, pushed one of the Zimbabweans out the way, which has resulted in a 16-yard hit out. Mutsa Kanyangara on the far side. Showing his skill. Passes that back to Mugori. Mugori looking to switch the play to the right-hand side. Maredza, early touch and pass, which has worked well. It's given into Lezi, good space. Mashaya Karara tackled. Number 14, Katele running hard, getting that ball onto somebody at the top of the D. Showing good skill. That's just outside the D. Zambians asking for the short corner. Umpire Kumwenda not having any of it. Good circle entry, flick across the goal. That was going far post. Gori hitting that uh, into one of the Zambian players. That'll be a dangerous ball. Zambia's ball just outside the 23. Crossed, nobody there. Ball taken quickly. Forbes Tindua on the right hand side. Another long ball through. Very ambitious. Fifty fifty press here for Zimbabwe. There's only really one player which uh, isn't very effective at going through Forbes Tindua. Tindai Maredza again showing his experience. Uh, and being a real thorn in the side of the Zambians here when they're on attack. Ball going through. Another run by KK Karuma, who's missed that up at the top near side of the field. Again, poor shutdown by Zimbabwe. Allowing Zambia to get out relatively easy. Moyo with the long pass. Mistrap. Mashoko with the overhead. And Zambia easily into that space. Vali with the touch. Good skill to win it back. Mugore trying to put him under pressure there. Mandeza with the tackle, but a bit of back stick. Ball going wide. Forbes Tundra marking and up to the task. And that's bobbled out the back for a 16 yard hit out. About three minutes left on uh, our stopwatch in this third quarter. No team yet showing any real chance. And uh, a lot of pressure coming from Zambia so far as the Zambian goes to ground. And referee has uh, stopped play. You just also feel that maybe Zimbabwe panicking a little bit. They've really struggled when they've had the ball. And just another have a look at this uh, clearance. It's gone for the hit. It looks like it's got him somewhere on that leg. He has had to be helped off, so it's obviously, obviously in uh, significant pain there. That the hockey ball is very hard when it hits you, uh, and if it hits you in an unprotected area, it can be very painful. I agree with you there, Dirk. I think uh, there seems to be a little bit of frustration coming out from, from both sides at the moment, and Zimbabwe certainly the ones under a bit more pressure. 
uh, as the ball gets passed through. This is the first real opportunity for Zimbabwe. We have McLeod on the back stick, taking a shot. He's missed it. No pressure. And uh, KK Karuma, who got the, the recycle of uh, McLeod's first shot, also duffing that a bit to the far side. Zimbabwe's first real opportunity in this uh, quarter. Pressure on. That's a better shutdown from Zimbabwe. They should have won that back, but unfortunately couldn't get the ball there. 3D hockey by Philemon Boily. He's got his team into a good position. Can he get the pass away? Well stopped by Mufanda Edza. It's a long corner. No, taken just outside the D. Shot coming in. It's come off the foot of Mufanda Edza just outside the D again. Long corner. Drop back. Kumwenda with the ball. One by Kanyangarara showing his 3D skill there. He's done very well, but it has allowed Zambia the chance to get back in defense. He would have liked to get that through a bit quicker, I think. Mugori. Nothing open for him there, so he drops it back to Mufande Edza, who's under pressure here. He's got nobody to pass to. Gets it back to Mugori. He can only manage to get it out the side. They need to be a, bit, a little more clinical here, Zimbabwe. It's a good ball. Well stopped by Muta Kanyangarara. Philemon Vwali. Loses out there to Kanyangarara, but only to have it stolen again by Moyo. Tries to get it back behind, ball, pass behind his back. This goes to Alec Chamunorwa, holding onto the ball. Looking for an open pass. He's got it wide to KK Karuma. That first touch, not great, and he can't win it back either. Solid at the back there from Samson Tembo. Zimbabwe again guilty of uh, those first touches. Two minutes left odd on the clock in this third quarter. And got to be said as well, lacking midfield. And I think that's maybe the pressure. They're going all the way around Zimbabwe, but no one in the midfield to help out. Bit of pushing. Harsh whistle blown there by Empire Shrives. As we see the captain pick up the ball. Walia making a good run. That's a great tackle by McLeod. Nope. I take that back. Alistair McLeod getting a yellow card there. Five minute yellow card. Um, a poor bit of discipline there with Zimbabwe on the back foot and now once again they are a player down. Zambia looking to crack that in. Finding one of their players. Can he get a shot off? 16 yard hits out awarded. Overhead thrown by Tendai Maredza. Well picked up by Gif Chamunora. He looks for the cross in. That's gone out the back for a long corner, I believe, as this quarter starts to wind down. Ball back to Forbes Tindua. Dropping it in the midfield. Zimbabwe happy to recycle it. Goes out wide to Mugori. Pulls it back. He's under pressure there. He's looking for an open pass. He finds it in Tendai Maredza. One touch pass. Mufanda Edza can't get that ball through. It's a back stick. He's taking it quickly. Good bit of skill. He's Time's running out for Zimbabwe. Yeah, they want a quick shot and before the buzzer goes. And it does just that. And uh, the buzzer is gone just as that gets deflected in. But I think that might be overturned because the Zambian players had stopped as the buzzer went off. Uh, this will be up to the officials to sort out um, as, we, uh, as we break for the end of the third quarter. Zimbabwe might be a goal up, but I, I doubt that. Well, definitely nothing wrong with the scoring of the goal. It was just that buzzer. Well, we've got the replay here. This is where the infringement took place. Uh, it was passed out wide. Umpire Shrive is signaling to take the ball just outside the 23, meaning Zimbabwe can take it straight away. Uh, he's done just that. He's banged the ball straight in. And just like he did yesterday, Case Kanyangarara has deflected that in. But uh, I don't know if you can hear it on the replay, but we heard it here. The, the buzzer went off. 
just seconds before he deflected that in. So I have a feeling that will be a disallowed goal and we'll go into the fourth and final quarter, one all. As the teams come back on here for the fourth and final quarter, it is still one all. That uh, goal, well, rather no goal from the end of that quarter there for Zimbabwe not being allowed as the buzzer went just before it was deflected in by Tatenda Kanyangarara. Um, so all to play for here for these two teams uh, as uh, a good tackle was made from Zambia on the near side. Uh, Zimbabwe still a man down with the yellow card. Uh, Alistair McLeod making a poor tackle um, about three minutes before the end of that last quarter. So he'll still be off for about another two minutes. Uh, a good pass out wide, just too far in front of the running Zambian player on the near side. I think that was Samuel Tagurei. And that goes up to Kez Kanyangarara. He's got a good time on the ball. It's a brilliant tackle to put that out the back. I think Kez being one of his own harshest critics would have liked to have done more with that. Kip Chamanoro with the restart. Fandeds are looking in. A diving for Aimusimwa there, trying to get a deflection in. Again, a bit of a, a half press from Zimbabwe, allowing Zambia to get to the halfway line very easily. I don't know if this is a strategy from the Zimbabweans, Dirk, but they seem to be not putting as much pressure as they were on the Malawian defense yesterday. Yeah, I've noticed that as well. Now a Zimbabwean player on the floor, that ball lifted. I'm just not so sure where it hit him. I'll just re look at this back stick lifted there. Oh, it looks like it's come off the knee maybe. That'll hurt. Yeah, it's Zimbabwe just a bit guilty of... Uh, and Every time they've come off, coach talking about the pace. Let, let's get the pace going of this game. And Zimbabwe have failed to do that. Uh, I think Gif Chamanora down there, uh, second day in a row, he, he got a pretty bad knock on the head yesterday from one of the players' sticks. And as you said, Dirk, I think this has come off his knee. Uh, when you get that hockey ball on bone, it can be extremely painful. Um, this is not something we like to see, somebody getting stretched off. He's obviously in an immense amount of pain. Uh, we hope he's all right once he gets second off. Asme and Porfu running on in the midfield uh, to replace Gift uh, as he goes to get uh, sorted out. As we restart here, Tendai Maredza with the ball. Looking for a cracking shot up the line that's been touched quite well by Forbes Tindwa. But uh, picked up by the Zambian captain. He's under pressure. Three Zimbabweans here tackling him as they back off. He's thrown a good overhead there to Naimaredza up to the task. They're asking, Zimbabwe's asking for the five meters, but uh, umpire saying play on. Again, Maredza has been unbreakable in defense for Zimbabwe. I think uh, without him, they would have been under a lot more pressure. Zambians definitely getting more and more frustrated uh, as he keeps stealing it away from them in the midfield. Ball passed into the midfield. 
Stolen by Faraima Simwa, and he's given it straight back to the Zambians. We're looking to push that through. Uh, a bit all over the place, both teams here, as it's a bit of uh, scratchy hockey. Mugori on the end of two Zambians and not winning the battle. He's lost it there. Good bit of skill shown by Floyd Chomba, who's gotten that through. Uh, and that frustration we're talking about, Dirk, I think being visible in both teams where we're not seeing the flow anymore. They're not changing the channels. Uh, it seems to be a lot more skillful and forceful movement from both teams. And a lot more of this hitting hockey that we're seeing. Mered's on the ball again. He's thrown an accurate overhead to Asme Mpofu, who picks that up well and puts that onto the stick of the Zambian. Asme Mpofu playing quickly. Touch across goal, and that just trickling out the back for a 16-yard hit out. Uh, as we are in the final quarter, I think that urgency is a bit more there, but that urgency can't lead to uh, too much nervous pressure. Mareza again on the end of that defensive uh, wall that the Zambians can't seem to get through. Zambia looking to switch it around that area. Captain with the ball. Out on the far side. It's a circle entry. Unmarked Zambian, but he can't manage to get hold of the ball. Cleared by Zimbabwe. Uh, and that'll be their ball out on the side after touching one of the Zambian sticks. That's a brilliant stop there by Samuel Tagurei. Gets it into the midfield. Zimbabwe's man marking seems to have improved a bit in this quarter. That ball goes out wide. Well, McLeod now back on the field for Zimbabwe. So back to full complement. Reminder, they've uh, played that first five odd minutes. Ten men on the field. Now Zambia pushing. That is a bad tackle there. Uh, that's, uh, I was going to say, you would be very lucky, Maridza, to get away with uh, getting a card there. And I think he's been given a two-minute uh, cool down. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a shame because he has been doing the bulk of the Zimbabwean defense in the midfield there. And uh, let's see what Zambia can come up here without that massive thorn they've had in their side for the last, uh, well, the majority of the game so far. Pressure as the ball goes up onto the left-hand side. Zambia losing the ball there. Zimbabwe getting it back. And it'll be their 16-yard hit out on the near side of the field. Into the midfield, a good one touch. Picked up there by Mashaya Karara. He's made an infringement as he's got the ball. Zambia again looking for that long ball in. They've managed to get it to Philemon Boily. And there's a, a foot there by one of the Zambian, Zimbabweans. My apologies. Alec Chamanoa coming back in defense, managing to win that ball. Getting out to Fry Musimwa. Trying to get it someone down the line, but there's no one up there for Zimbabwe. So Zambia happy to recycle. Oh, not much pressure here for Zambia. They can play with it at the back as they like. That could be a, a costly miss there from Zimbabwe. Perhaps a bit of fatigue setting in here for both teams as they're missing simple traps and passes. Fundeds are taking the hits out from the side. He's cracked that straight to one of the Zambians, looking to counter here, and this could be dangerous. That's a good tackle there by Iso from Fandeza. He's appealing for the foot. It's a late blow from umpire Kumwenda. Intensity picking up here. Again, looking for that crash ball of the Zimbabweans, and uh, the Zambians are up to the task. They're stopping it quite well and looking for that counter straight away. Yeah, I'm not so sure these long balls are working for Zimbabwe. They seem to have a better midfield control of the game against Malawi in this one. It doesn't look like they've got that. 
Very much so, Dirk. That, that, that's a, another crash ball going down the line. I think the way they're, they're switching the ball at the back uh, would be quite efficient if they managed to do that up top. But as soon as they get up top, I think because of the pressure of the score line, uh, because it's the last quarter, they're looking to just try to get it going straight towards the goal. Uh, and that oftentimes might not be the most direct route, if that makes sense. Zambia with the ball, looking for the switch. It's a good, good stop there by Shaya Carrara. Captain has the ball, looking for a circle entry. It's gone into the corner. Well defended there by Zimbabwe. And there's pressure there. You can hear the Zimbabwean bench yelling, go, go to Alec Chamunora. And that's adding to the goal line pressure that's already there when you've got a whole country waiting on your shoulders. Mutsa Kanyangarara getting that ball across the field. Good opportunity here for Zimbabwe. Asma Mpofu gets that back to Mufande Edza, who's got it on the baseline. It's pressure here. Hands go up, but Zambia defense up to the task. It's been pushed across to Connie Matrono, who's had a poor first touch, and that's the last thing you want. Now, Zambia's danger player, Philman Bwali with the ball. He's got a good opportunity here. He's, he's bought out. Brad here, and he's cool as you like, run that across the goal, waited for Bradley here, the captain, to sprawl out and try and make a diving save and push that into the far corner. And the Zambians are ecstatic in celebration. Well, Zimbabwe can only blame themselves. It was a poor touch to give Zambia the ball. And uh, it's a really good goal from Zambia. They've uh, been poor have Zimbabwe in those first touches. We keep talking about it, and uh, that's the end result. Zambia now lead 2-1. Zimbabwe under a bit more pressure here, looking to try equalize again. This is not the situation they wanted to find themselves in, but once again, giving that ball away too easily. It's a good tackle by Jerry Intelezi there. These one-touch passes, again, there, just a great bit of play from Zimbabwe with the one-touch passes before the ball gets held a bit too long and the frustration showing. We can hear the coach yelling from the bench in frustration every time uh, that ball is held just that little bit too long. Zimbabwe showing flashes of brilliance, but uh, just not able to keep it up consistently. Zambia happy to slow the game down now, leading from the back. And we've got that pressure player, Boily, with the ball up top, another shot on goal. Zimbabwe have it in the D. They want to get it out of that danger area. Zambia's danger man with the ball again, looking for a short corner. That gets cracked upfield and nobody up there for Zimbabwe. So it'll be a 16 yard hit out for the Zambians. Well, again, Zimbabwe guilty of just hitting the ball away to nobody. And uh, all they've done is given Zambia possession back. Zambia happy to keep possession and run the clock down. Still looking for an opportunity that's gone onto the baseline. Good control. Zimbabwe's defense there. Good bit of skill shown. Five minutes left in this quarter. Zimbabwe under the pump. Uh, Zambia with the ball in their attacking quarter. And. Uh, happy to just use their skill and hold on to that ball to try get it in into the D. Marenza with the ball. Can't get it past the Zambians. He's got it back again. Zambia looking for another long cross, looking for that deflection. Hands up in the air, asking for the short corner, and I believe that has been awarded after being lifted off one of the Zimbabwean sticks in the D. So under some real pressure here, Zimbabwe. We said in the third quarter, it was all in favor of Zambia. And now with the lead, Zimbabwe unable to hold on to the ball and playing straight into the Zambian hands. I'll be in no rush to uh, take this short corner, even though the clock has stopped. Just slow the game down, Zambia. And maybe that's what they've done well as well. Zimbabwe will want to play a fast game and Zambia stopped that. Very much so, Dirk. I think uh, Zimbabwe's probably been their own worst enemies in this uh, game so far, as we see that pushed out to the side. Well stopped. Zambia's 
attacking unit not working there. That ball getting up to KK Karuma. What can he do with this? It's a very, very good tackle made by Samson Timbo at the back there. Um, otherwise, KK Karuma, he does have some wheels. Might have been away. Zambia running down the clock again, switching sides. Again, first touch from Zimbabwe, leading to them being put under pressure. It's off the foot. They're going to play on. That's just outside the D for Zambia. It's inside the 23. They're going to have to take this five before they go. They've passed it out to Andy Moyo, who's looking again for that deflection. Somebody's got it in the goal. Frustration from Gerald Intelezi. Lifted by the Zambia player, looking for that shot, but he's missed the ball. Uh, and that'll be a 16-yard head out for Zimbabwe. First touch again from Zimbabwe, causing frustration from the bench and from the players. And Zambia seem to have found their stride now and just seem to be putting Zimbabwe to the test. It's going to have to be something special if Zimbabwe want to equalize again here. Captain's got the ball. That's been popped in. Zambia with the ball in the goal, and that's been put in. It was expected, Dirk. Uh, there's only so many times you can uh, have that ball coming at you and at you and at you. And uh, a cool bit of play from Andrew Moyo, who I th believe was the first goal scorer, who's got that ball in a similar si situation to what he had two minutes ago. <coughs> and uh, ball's gone off the Zimbabwean stick. It's popped up. He's had one touch, turned and put that past Bradley here. And uh, it's looking more and more desperate for Zimbabwe as the clock runs down with only about three minutes left to play in this quarter. McLeod with the ball. Looking to try and make something here. Getting the ball wide. Going across. Zambia up to the task. They seem to be enjoying themselves now, the Zambians, now that they're on top. They're even running a little bit harder. Uh, Happy to let the Zimbabweans make these long passes um, and seem to be putting in a bit more effort now that they're leading by two. McLeod makes a good steal, but the Zambians there in force. Telezi looking to make the steal, making an infringement, unfortunately. Clock winding down for Zambia, happy to take their time. Overhead thrown. Danger from the overhead, though. Oh. Zimbabwe, if they want to have a chance of equalizing here, yeah, they've got to take it now. I don't think they can be taking too long to make these passes around the back. That ball's gone direct. Stolen by Zambia. That's Timbo again, who's been fantastic at the back for Zambia this whole game. Moyo with a good couple of touches. Recycles back to Banda. Banda down the line. He's found someone there. Recycle. This is just too easy for Zambia now. They really are pulling the strings on Zimbabwe, making them look like they, they are the puppet masters. Muchona under pressure there. Zimbabwe looking to make the steal. Can something special come from Mufande Adia? McLeod with the ball, getting it up the line. KK Karuma. He's picked it up. He's looking for someone up front. There is somebody there. Tendai Maredza. He's under pressure. He's got it around the keeper. He's managed to put it in. That brings them within one goal. Again, the experience. Of the senior player, he's been fantastic in the midfield, defensively and attacking for Zimbabwe so far this game. There can't be much time left in this quarter for Zimbabwe to try and equalize us. Whistle goes. Bit more pressure under Zambia. Less than a minute to play. Pressure here. And that pressure is showing. Jerry Intelezi looking into the midfield to Tender Kanyangarara. He's passed it to McLeod. McLeod's been pushed. He's got that circle entry. Kicked it's a short corner for Zimbabwe. You can hear the crowd going wild here. Zimbabwe have found something to play for. It was going to take something special. Tendai Maredza came up with that. Can they equalize?
Umpire Shrive's explaining why he's blown that as a short corner. The Zambian's not happy, understandably. And Telezi with the injection. Tender Kanyangarara is at the first castle, Alistair McLeod's at the second. High pressure situation here for Zimbabwe. Good injection, good trap. He's pulled it out, it's been stopped bravely. Another short corner awarded. That was a heck of a save as well. I think that was goal bound. I've, uh, quick out the box there. Instructions coming from the bench. Can Zimbabwe pull something out the back here, a bag here when it matters? Good pull out, good trap. It's past the back. It's pressure here. Yeah. There can't be many seconds left on the clock. Zambia have gotten the ball back. They've won it. They're going to slow this right down, will Zambia? One second left. There goes the final buzzer. Zambia ecstatic. They had a bit of a scare there at the end that uh, Zimbabwe might have pulled it back. It took something special from Tendai Maredza to get Zimbabwe back in the game, but too little, too late for the home side. Yeah, Zimbabwe will rue the way they played in that third and fourth quarter. They were poor, and uh, Maredza got them back in the game. And then two short corners, one great save from Zambia that uh, was goal bound and then unable to capitalize on the second one. And in the end, I think fair to say, deserved winners Zambia. They played the better hockey today and uh, a good start for them to the tournament. Very much so, Dirk. I think uh, there was quite a few players on the Zambian side there who can say that they've had a, one, of, one of their best games, uh, particularly against Zimbabwe, having watched a few of them before. Uh, I think with the exception of uh, Tendai Maredza, who really was outstanding for Zimbabwe, just not really much help there to back him up. So confirmation of this pool game, Zimbabwe 2, Zambia 3.